up in the Philippines where about 80% of the population is Catholic and went to Catholic school all the way to high school. It was a bit of a culture shock for me when I came here to the U.S. and found out that abortion is legal here and not that uncommon. So a few years back, I read an announcement in the bulletin that they were looking for volunteers to pray in front of abortion clinics. And I felt a stirring in my heart. So I signed up for that um, Sidewalk Advocates for Life training. And after that, I was able to pray in front of abortion clinics on days when I'm off of work. A few times I would bring my kids with me. Then they were just eight and 11 years old when we started. And I did this to set a good example. Monkey see, monkey do, right? I wanted to instill pro-life values um, to my children at a young age in the hopes that they would carry those same values well into adulthood. I remember um, a story of a pro-life advocate who has many more years of experience than I um, when he invited his goddaughter to pray with him in front of the Planned Parenthood clinic um, close to U of H where she goes to school. And the uh, goddaughter politely declined and said that she's actually pro-choice. And this um, story broke my heart. Imagine hearing this from your own children, from your grandchildren, right? Sometimes it's not enough that we bring them to Mass every Sunday. We need to tell them and certainly show through our actions where we stand in important issues such as abortion. And this um, story only reinforced what I was already doing. And being part of the ministry has actually provided uh, me and my family a lot of opportunity to pray for others and to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Once a year, we would participate in the life chain. And every second Sunday of the month, we would join with other parishioners to pray um, the rosary for the preborn. We, would all, we have also incorporated um, prayers to end abortion with our daily bedtime family routine. My son actually enjoys handing out baby bottles um, during the annual fundraiser for the Pregnancy Resource Center. And then we would go to community garage sales. He would sell his toys and buy diapers for the Pregnancy Center. And as we pray and take part in these activities, we have grown spiritually as a family. I've noticed that we've been praying more for others. We've been giving more, whether it's our time or resources, and even now, I'm here in front of a big crowd, which is really outside of my comfort zone. But you know, I've always believed that even if we're only able to save one life, then it'll all be worth it. Um, now that Roe v. Wade has been overturned, there's still much praying that needs to be done. Mothers are still tempted to um, abort, to go outside of the state, or even order abortion pills online. So there's much work to be done. And now more than ever, the pregnancy centers need our support. So please join us in defending the defenseless. Um, we'll be in the back by the hospitality desk if you have any questions or if you, or if you want to hear more about our ministry. Thank you kindly for your time.